we are going to see uh, female caddies being involved more in the open. I know last year they played. Do you think mm -hmm. this is uh, a step in the right direction for, for ladies' golf? It is because when we look at it, the way we look at it, we, we, it's good for them to play in the open. It's good for them to get that pressure. I mean, the, the pressure that we feel when we are playing the open. But then they should be playing, they should be able to play other competitions, not only the open. Because when they play the open, then what comes after that? I mean, they go back and see it, they carry bags and all that. They have a day when they play already during the week, a Monday, but it's not good. It no, it's not good enough for them. They need, they need to give them uh, more chances for them to be able to, to, I mean, to bring out their talent. And I think it's good for them. I think it's good for the country as well, because we are looking at these people, we are looking at them as, I mean, getting other uh, new young girls to play the game, because we are few. And the way we look at it, we are looking at, uh, we are looking at getting more young girls to play. But if we just give them a chance of playing in the, in the ladies open, it's not enough for them. Though at the same time, it's good. It's a good chance for them to play. Yeah, so we need to give, they need to give them more chances to play and to be able to expose their talent. Mm. Okay, you've mm. won two ladies open titles. Uh, they say that third time is usually unlucky. Do you think it's going to be lucky for you? <laughs> Not anyway. I've won. I've won it two uh, two times, and what I call as a third chance, which was unlucky for me, that was last year, and then that I forgot that we are. I'm looking at at this now, so I still have uh, tomorrow and Saturday, and hopefully I'll do my best and I hope to do better. The only thing I need to work on my game is the putting, and if all goes well, then. The win, the win will be mine. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. handicap one, which is mm. I think is the lowest handicap in East Africa. Um, going forward, you envisage yourself playing professional golf. Yes, uh, that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to practice. I'm trying to look for sponsorship because that's dragging me behind. And um, I'm trying to talk to people, I mean, people who can help me get sponsorship. So if all goes well, I'm planning to turn next year. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what are uh, some of uh, the requirements? I know you've talked of financial requirements, uh, but, but uh, we know that, that uh, Ugandan golf does not have, you know, that critical mass of female professional golfers. Mm -hmm. Just how are you going to make it? Uh, it's not here because I'm not looking. I'm not looking at playing here. I'm looking at playing in South Africa. That is, if I turn pro, pro next next year, I'm looking at playing in South Africa, Asia, USA, because that's where the in Dubai, because that's where the game is. And, and then, if you if I'm looking at playing it here, as a, pro, a professional here, then I will, I will, I will be doing nothing. That means I would, I would rather stay in my amateur status. But I'm, I'm trying to work on it next year probably. Yeah.